Okay, so get this right. The new Transformers movie. It's like a total rewind. Back to Cybertron. Before Earth. Before Earth, yeah. A French cinema website. They've got all the deets. We're talking origin story, the whole shebang. I think it's really interesting. We're finally going to see Cybertron, you know? Like, before the war, right. it's like we're getting a peek into a lost world. It's true. It makes you wonder, what was their society like? What happened? What went wrong? All those events that led to, well, everything falling apart. And the site really emphasizes that. The whole film. It's all Cybertron. No Earth. Yeah. Not even a little bit. Yeah. What do you think that means for the story? I think it's a smart move yeah. because it lets them really build out the world. Right. You know, they can tell a story that they couldn't if they were jumping back and forth between Earth and Cybertron all the time. It's true. Plus, think about the visuals. I mean, this is like our first real look at Cybertron. Oh, yeah. On the big screen. Like a fully realized Cybertron. It's, it's, all those epic landscapes, those crazy futuristic cityscapes. Oh, I'm ready for it. Me too. And of course, we got to talk about the characters. Yeah, of course. The site mentions Optimus Prime. Of course. Alita. Yeah. And Bumblebee. Always Bumblebee. It's interesting they're focusing on Alita. Oh, yeah. We haven't really seen a lot of her, you know, in the live action films. Right. So it'll be cool to see how she's portrayed in this animated origin story. True. Maybe we'll finally get some answers about her relationship with Optimus. Yeah. And get this, they describe Bumblebee as Drolissimi. Drolissimi. Which, if my French serves me correctly, means hilarious. Hilarious. So what do you make of that? Hmm. Makes you wonder if Bumblebee's going to be the comic relief of this film. Oh, interesting. It's a little different than what we're used to, right? It is. But, you know, it could be their way of appealing to a younger audience okay. while still, you know, keeping him true to his character. That makes sense. Especially because the site also calls this a grand aventure familiale. Oh, a family adventure. A big family adventure. Wow. So they're definitely leaning into that whole family-friendly vibe. What do you think that means for the tone of the movie? Hmm. A family-friendly Transformers film. Interesting. Right. I mean, they have to tone down the violence, right? Yeah. Maybe this will be more about like friendship and teamwork. Yeah. It could be a great way to introduce younger fans to the whole Transformers universe. Totally. And speaking of things that might be toned down, uh -huh. let's talk about Optimus Prime and Megatron. Ah, uh, yes. The big conflict. Is the heart of the whole story. Their broken friendship. It's classic Transformers. Classic. We know how it ends. Yeah. Autobots versus Decepticons. Right. But this film could finally tell us how it all started. Yeah, what caused that rift between them? Exactly. Because seeing their relationship, you know, yeah. before everything went bad. Before the war. Yeah, before the war. Understanding what drove them apart. It could be powerful. And I think it'll make their fights in the future even more meaningful. Oh, absolutely. Knowing the history behind them. Exactly. It adds a whole new layer to their conflict. Speaking of potential, what about the director? Oh, yeah. They got Josh Cooley. Josh Cooley from Pixar. From Pixar. He did Toy Story 4. Wow. Interesting choice. Right. What do you think about that? I think it's interesting. I mean, Toy Story 4, it was emotionally really powerful. Yeah. The way he handled the characters, the relationships, it was really well done. He definitely has a talent for bringing out the emotional depth in his characters. Yeah. So do you think he'll do the same for Optimus and Megatron? Maybe. Could we see a more nuanced side to their relationship? Maybe. It would be fascinating to see what he does with those characters. I agree. You know, his background in animation, especially with stories about toys coming to life, it makes him a great fit for this project. It's true. It'll be interesting to see how he combines his humor, his emotional depth, with the whole action-packed world of Transformers. Definitely. So, okay, let's recap. What do we know? We've got this Transformers origin story. It's all happening on Cybertron. Oh, no Earth. No Earth. And they're calling it a family-friendly adventure. Hmm. Which makes me wonder how they're going to deal with, you know, all the violence. It's the darker themes. Yeah. yeah. We're going to see Optimus Prime. We're going to see Alita. And we might be seeing a much funnier Bumblebee than we're used to. Drolissime. Drolissime. And of course, Josh Cooley is directing. The mastermind behind Toy Story 4. Exactly. It's going to be interesting, that's for sure. It is. And don't forget, October 23rd, 2024. That's the date. I'm marking my calendar. Mark your calendars, everyone. You do not want to miss this. It really does sound like it's <laughs> going to be an epic adventure. Back on Cybertron. <laughs> Back to where it all began. And as you're watching, 
I want you to think about something. What does this origin story tell us about the Transformers we know and love? Does seeing their past change how we see their future? How do their choices way back on Cybertron affect everything that happens later? Their interactions with Earth, with us, it's definitely something to think about. Food for thought, for sure. Definitely. Okay, thanks for diving deep with me. Until next time. See you next time.